Uh, so today, I want to talk about artificial intelligence, uh, what it is, and just as important, uh, what it's not. Um, and that's the, obviously the subject of my new book, and thank you very much uh, for, to uh, Danielle here at uh, Louis University for publishing my book. I'm very grateful, and I hope that uh, you all have a chance uh, to, uh, to read it. And anybody who buys my book, I will take them to lunch. So, um, okay, uh, so let me start with the question of what artificial intelligence really is. Uh, you know, when most people think about artificial intelligence, uh, they worry that we're building increasingly intelligent machines that uh, might ultimately exceed human capabilities and uh, might even uh, steal our jobs and, and rise up and uh, take over the world, uh, escape human control. And that's because of uh, what people see in the movies. So. Now, that's what most people think artificial intelligence is. Uh, it's exciting and it's scary, but it's not the best way to think about artificial intelligence. For one thing, what you see in the movies is, is way beyond the current state of the art. And uh, you might find it comforting to know what the uh, best scientists in the world have been able to accomplish uh, uh, toward this particular goal. And let me uh, show you just how, uh, how primitive these are. Uh, this is an act, uh, the, uh, a video from a competition that was held in the United States for ad advanced, the most advanced robotics uh, uh, people, that roboticists they're called, uh, who developed uh, these devices to engage in certain kinds of tasks. So that's about the best we can do right now. Uh, now, as you can see, obviously, today's robots are slow and they're clumsy. But you might wonder, what's going to happen when we improve them? Are they going to become more like the uh, Terminator in the earlier thing? Uh, are they going to rise up and take over the world? Uh, now, the answer is no. And the reason is that robots don't have independent goals and desires. If you have a robot like this one that uh, is designed to wash and fold laundry, it may be plenty sophisticated. It might learn not to put your laundry away while you're sleeping, or it might learn just uh, how you want your shirts folded. Uh, but uh, it isn't going to wake up one day and go, oh my god, what a fool I've been. I really want to sing opera at uh, Teatro dell'Opera di Roma. Not going to happen. So what really is artificial intelligence? Uh, it's much more than robots, of course. Uh, it's a software engineering discipline that uh, is going to play an increasing role in helping organizations to stay competitive and to adapt to changing business uh, realities. A common definition of the field, and I'm going to quote from the slide, is the theory and development of computer systems that are able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as uh, visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. That's what you get if you Google this. But that is not a very good definition of the field. And for one thing, we often use computers and machines to do many tasks way faster and way better than uh, people can do. Uh, we usually want to build systems that outperform human capabilities, not just duplicate what we do. Uh, otherwise, these machines wouldn't be very useful. And so, uh, there's, but the interesting thing is there's really nothing new about that. Machines that we build here at this university and around the world. Uh, they already move our freight, they score our tests, they handle our billing, they plant and pick many of our crops, they trade stocks, they store and retrieve documents, they manufacture just about everything. And all of those 
or tasks that not very long ago were regarded as requiring human effort and judgment, if not intelligence. But today we take all these machines in stride because we, they do a better job than people can do. And uh, they reduce costs, and as a result, they make us wealthier as a society. So I want to propose today a different framework for understanding artificial intelligence. Rather than thinking of AI as an attempt to recreate the human intelligence, the field is better understood as an advance in automation. And this perspective makes it uh, easier to predict how it's going to affect the way we live and the way we work and the labor markets and our economy. Uh, you know, we can look at previous waves of automation to see how technology affected productivity in our work and our commerce, and we can apply those lessons uh, to assess the likely impact in the future. And this is why the social sciences are so important to uh, a proper understanding of the uh, future of artificial intel intelligence.